Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Florent, here playing as the growing power of Florence. Uh, we still have a long way to go before we can get Prince of Egypt. A very long way to go. However, we are definitely the dominant power in Italy, or we were until very recently when Castile now has a union over Austria, which is a problem. So, uh, currently France, our ally, is involved in a succession war versus them and is losing. Um, they are fighting way too many people to have a hope of winning. Um, we're lucky we did not get called into that war. I'm currently plotting a little bit against Milan here. Just because Milan is right on our borders and now hates us. Uh, we still want to try and kill off the Papal States in Italy. And against the Ottomans, why? Huh. Oh, Ottomans are fighting Hungary and oh, typical AI. Um... We can't attack the Pope for another four years. Which is going to be a bit of an issue. But we got Rome, which was the main goal. We obviously still need to take these two. But every little bit helps. Unfortunately, we are losing our great power status because we're just 80 developments smaller than Denmark. Um, which has now got Norway. So oh, we'll see how this goes. Um, fabricate claims on that. Bohemia is the emperor again, interestingly enough. The HRE is just collapsing now. Now that Austria is owned by a foreign power. It's, it's falling fast. There's nothing I can really do. You know, I might actually save up a thousand gold here and upgrade the market town to uh, the next level. Because right now, other than building manufactories, the rest of this is virtually useless on for me. What with autonomy and everything. And uh, outside of that, we are feeling rather vulnerable. Or at least I am. I don't know about you guys, but I think uh, overall Florence's days could easily be numbered here. Colombian exchange. Does France have a colonial nation? They don't. New Granada, okay. Carabas, France. I can see out here, but I can't actually tell if France has colonized anything. They've gotten two colonial ideas, and I still don't think France has done much with it. Then again, AI France colonizes slower. France is totally broken here oh well, they still have manpower wow this tells you how much how strong france really is that they can keep waging these wars oh they have allies how do they have allies what's going on here oh brabant has come to their aid oh okay i was confused i was like brabant didn't have fifty-seven thousand troops to be fair though, Brabant is a pretty large country up there now. Uh, we'll take the stability, we will get the new tech. Plus three states. We're over 51 innovation, so we'd have the bright spark achievement if we didn't already have it. And uh, I am... Oh, I really want that idea. I really want the idea, but I can't. We need Spanish Square. It's a huge boost with the tactics and better troops. More importantly, it puts us I'm trying to remember. I think we're starting to reach parity with the Ottomans and the other Muslims in terms of troop quality, or I think we're ahead of the others, but not ahead of the Ottomans. Obviously the goal is to be ahead of the Ottomans in the end, or at least the Mamluks if the Ottomans don't kill them, but That's always a... Usually they die, so... We'll see. Uh, I think we're going to probably head towards a presidential system here once we get the chance. Or I could do... Separation... Uh, right now the nobility bringing in 20% of... 20% manpower recovery is... I, f 
feel really needed. The downside of getting rid of the nobility is I have no military monarch points coming in. I do get a parliament. That's about it. Technically, I could form Tuscany, and at, probably at the end of this episode, I didn't want to do it last episode, I will check to see if that disables Prince of Egypt. If it doesn't, um, we could go monarchy. Or we could stay with a republic. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of liking the Republic this game, to be honest. If we can go down this, we'll have a lot more bonuses. We can always strengthen executive power and get more uh, absolutism out of it, too. What is our absolutism penalty? I just want to double check all this. Speaking of which, we could convert to a from an oligarchy to a noble elite. Do I want to do that? Because if I'm going to do that, now would be an ideal time. Nobility. We've got rule for life with sortition, so none of this matters. So we do not want a plutocracy. I'm going to try a noble republic. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, I will try a noble republic. Okay, so we still keep our plutocratic ideas, I believe. I just want to double check that. If worse comes to worse, we go back. No, we still keep it. We still keep all the bonuses, so that's worth it. So we do have some corruption to deal with, as in a lot of corruption to deal with. Um, we can, of course max the slider out have it go down rather fast um thousand developments so let's get this to a world trade center i think would be a good move yes reduces the building uh like the uh upgrade cost as well which is kind of funny still unreasonably expensive it would have been nice if we'd done that earlier but no uh, Austria is getting consumed by separatists. Honestly, I'm hoping they succeed. Obviously, France lost that, lost a province there. Um, did they lose anything else? I think they had to give a province back to Burgundy. Oh. Arezio is now a regimental city. Is that because I did... It's probably because I'm a noble republic. I haven't played as a noble republic a lot. Interesting. Okay, what's going on here? Ooh. These guys, Milan, is attacking people. France would not join. The Pope would join. Cannot call in Mantua, but I can attack. I'm going to do that. Uh, it's too expensive. What? March. Should be able to win this reasonably fast. I'll hire a Merc to pick up Sienna. Again, not ideal because I'm attacking the wrong person, but I should take at least one province from them. Let's swap this to allies because we want to make sure we keep France. If anything, we need a great power that's not us on our side. Um. Okay, we'll take that. We'll march to there. We will get Spanish Square. Um, we are going to go with Free Shooter, I believe. Would be a smart move. We could do Global Dominance, 30 Prestige, and Trade Efficiency. Speaking of which, we apparently have the world's... We are a dominant power in this trade node. How is that possible? I guess because Aragon was in a war. I don't know. Anyway, Florence is no uh, Tunis is no longer a valid rival for Florence, which is interesting. Uh, we are going to try and take the Milanese capital once our full, you know, uh, morale rebuilds a little bit. 
lucky we're only fighting really one person. Um, just double check my... Really, it doesn't exist except on Savoy and the Pope. A little bit on Venice, obviously. Um, let's see what I can take from the Pope. Technically, I could do this. That would definitely create it. Okay, well, let's do this. And I cannot do the release. They just want to renounce claims in all my lands. Really want provinces, to be honest. Castile, Venice, Savoy. So Genoa is not a problem. The Pope won't be a problem. Venice is not really an issue. Castile is an issue. And obviously we're at war with Milan. Any way to get that lower? No. I'm going to take Urbino. There we go. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me too much. We will core that. I'm going to swap this to Outraged Countries. And it's going to come back to bite me. Oh, great. Oh, hopefully I don't lose this episode. Raise another troop. That'll be nice. Do that quickly. Oh, I'm helping Venice take that province. Don't really want to help Venice take that province. Oops. That is a little bit stupid of me, but my army is superior. Castile's on set of coalition. Yep, I'm gonna die soon. Great. I may not take anything from this Milanese war. I may just force them to release land or something because otherwise I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I really don't I think France would defend me, but it's always a risky proposition relying on the AI. Uh, I'm going to build a fort here. Yeah, that's about all I can do at the moment. We are going to do... Institution spread in true faith provinces. We'll try that. Castile hates us. Savoy hates us. Everybody hates us. Okay. Wow, there's not a lot I can do at the moment. I kind of just have to hope I don't get attacked. Considering these guys have almost no liberty desire. Argon is rebellious, though. Interesting. And now they're not. Okay. Initially they were rebellious, and then it went away. Not too bad. Hold this back, actually. Can I take that land without causing a mass coalition? No. Can I force them to return it? I could do that. That would make Genoa slightly of a threat and Venice slightly of a threat, but it would weaken Milan. Um, I want you to also give up claims in my land, ideally. Um, I'll have you return that to Genoa, but that's it. Of course, this doesn't make Genoa like me much more, but we can't fight Milan anymore. We now can fight Genoa, which is, I guess, okay. We're not about to. But because we annulled their claims on our land, things have become slightly better with Milan. 
Plus, they can't join a coalition versus us. Plus, Venice is going to win this war anyway. So, Milan's betrayal, I'll call it a betrayal, or whatever you want to call it, of us, has now pretty much killed them off. This is what happens when you betray your ally by fabricating claims on all their lands. Admiral died, that's fine, I'm not using him anyway. How are we doing inflation? Inflation is under control, that's good. This guy's ruled for a while now. 777 though, could be better. And as soon as I say that, he dies. Isn't that hilarious? Um, we're gonna elect this guy because the other guys are idiots. Um. Wow. Wow, Milan just got devastated. They just lost 60, 70, 70 or so development. Wow. Can I rival them though? Um, I probably can. The reason I'm going to rival these guys is because Milan has had some enemies for a while, so maybe it'll make Venice like me more. Savoy's entered coalition. Yeah, we're gonna die here. Wait. We are probably going to die. Because this is what the coalition actually is. Although, if I'm lucky, Castile does not calculate its vassals and everything as part of their, um, sorry, unions as part of their power. They have no military right now. Is that why these guys are rebellious? Or were rebellious. Aragon's rebellious at the moment. You know, if I had good relations... If I had really good relations with them... Uh, they're gonna hate me forever, so... Venice, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I am totally gonna die. Um, unless I can find another, maybe, ally. Even then, it's going to be a risk, because they won't defend me. Um, who is France allied to? Brabant, Utrecht, Kildare. Kildare is not going to help. Any other allies in the world? Um, Bohemia. Okay. I'll take that alliance, Bohemia. This is this Bohemia is not doing as good as I've seen Bohemia do, but they're also not useless. Plus, they're Emperor of the HRE. For now, and they're likely to stay it, because I think everyone else is pretty much converted. Yeah, everyone else is converted. <laughs> oh well. Uh, we may actually see a Protestant Genoa here, unless something changes. So, picking up another ally is a really good thing. Um, we might actually survive this coalition if we don't get attacked in like the next year. Because France is still rebuilding. To be fair, Castile has n is still rebuilding too. Only 4,000 troops. That's so weird. Whatever. At least it's keeping Aragon rebellious for the time being. Oh, let's see. What do I haven't shown in a while? I haven't shown... Oh, the guy died already. Please don't give me the... Yep, they gave me the bad one. Great. Stuck with a bad ruler. And hopefully he's not young. He's 54. Uh, we'll take the Popery Act. I'm going to actually make him a general and have him drill. Because good thing about being this type of government form is I can kill off my leaders by drilling. And I take no penalty to stability. We're still working on corruption, obviously. Um, we're sitting at roughly 40, 45 army tradition as of being the Republic, Noble Elite Republic, and obviously our other bonuses. I think we're going to be pretty good. Wait a second. Does, Innovation slows down army and naval decay? Really? Learn something new every day, don't you? I didn't know that had that effect. That's cool. 
That means it's a lot more beneficial. Yeah, 0 0.5. If I got that higher, it would would be around 50 army army tradition permanently. That would be really nice. Uh, I am. I now have that fort there. I don't need this fort here. I might keep it still. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it for a while. If there's one thing I can afford in Italy. It is forts, and the more forts you have in Italy, usually the better off you are. I just got to be careful I don't put too many forts and I can just march all over my country. The steel has now rivaled me. Eesh, I've got a lot of rivals. Um, I might revoke my rivalry of Savoy. No, I, I can't. Um, can I get rid of Morocco, maybe? I could probably get rid of Morocco. And change it instead to Castile. There we go. Might make Morocco like me a little bit more. Regardless, it should make people who dislike Castile like me a bit more. Which is the Mamluks and me. Well, and France, really. Um, Oak embargo. Issue an embargo on Castile. Go. Issue an embargo on Milan. Oh, we can't embargo them when we have a truce. Fair enough. Um, who's our other rival? England? I suppose I can embargo them. It won't do anything. They're miles away, but... Whatever. How is our professionalism? 43. We could afford a long war if we had to. How close are we to the next institution? We're pretty close. Two techs away from... Another admin idea, and I'm definitely probably going to do admin ideas because land has become really expensive all of a sudden. Getting 10 military power a month, though, so there's one benefit of having an idiot on the throne. Or. Is it a throne? It's probably a throne because of this day and age. Or in the game, I mean, not. In real life, because now in real life you don't have thrones, but if you're a, no a republic, but this is a noble elite republic, which is more like, a, I guess, a despotism, so they probably have a throne. Uh, we're going to get this reform here soon. 10% cheaper embracement cost is nice, but the one... You know, I'm surprised I could have a noble republic while outlawing nobility. It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Oh well, we'll get the presidential system and then we'll see where we are. Um, can I raise any more troops? The more troops I have, I need a lot more. Two more. Do that. I mean, we're not terribly backwards. We're 8th in the world in military rank, but that's probably because we've won a couple wars lately. And these guys still hate us. On the other hand, their army is now sitting on the mainland, so we can beat them up. You'd think you'd appreciate me giving back your capital more, though. Residential system. Nothing else we can do there. Still a ways before we can do anything else. Take the prestige hit, honestly. Get some cash. Yep. I might save up another thousand, upgrade Rome or Naples to. Actually, I can upgrade this already. I want to get Na uh, Rome to a world port as well, if possible. The more trade, obviously, we dominate here, the better off we are, so. Really, there's only five people in the trade node? That's amazing. To be fair, I guess we've killed off everyone else. Aragon's here, I'm here, Genoa's here, Savoy, and then obviously the Pope. Does it make sense? It's still strange. You'd think there'd be more people. Corruption is also almost under control, so probably, well, next episode we should not have to deal with it anymore. Going down 10% a month, so. That's, that's manageable. 
Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? The Ottomans are in some trouble, it looks like. I'm guessing? That is unusual. Muscovy's in trouble, though. That's the issue. Even though Muscovy might... Muscovy will surrender the war, but the war score against the Ottomans is going to be huge. Wow. Go tiny little Georgian country, I guess. Okay, so next episode we'll finish off defensive ideas. We will probably combine defensive and innovative because we've got a free slot. Printing press has fired. We did not get printing press. It fired up in northern Germany. However, it should grow, yeah, reasonably fast in our lands. So I shouldn't worry too, too much. It's growing fast in Rome, too. So, uh, anyway, that will be it for this episode. And next episode, we hopefully will get rid of this coalition. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now.